always attached to particular bodies. Racism is structural. And so, therefore, it's not inconceivable that individuals who are associated with communities that have historically been targeted by racism can also participate in the process of um, perpetuating racism. Uh, I don't see a contradiction there at all. And when one asks, uh, uh, why is it that even though there are black people, mostly black men, a few black women, um, in higher places, uh, why is it that um, a black person is still has a greater likelihood of going to prison than going to the university? Uh, so when you look at those structural issues, uh, when you look at um, material conditions, uh, you see that racism is still uh, very much uh, uh, an active force in the social, economic, political life of the U.S. However, uh, the problem is that um, the vocabulary for um, uh, discussing institutional and structural racism has not been developed to the extent that it needs to be developed. And so therefore, people look at the <coughs> all ways of conceptualizing racism. They assume that racism uh, either refers to individual attitudes or it refers to legal constraints. Uh, and of course, um, most of the laws, not all, but most of the laws that were explicitly racist have been erased from the books. Um, that was the uh, aim of the Civil Rights Movement. The Civil Rights Movement did achieve uh, very important goals. However, it should be pointed out that what we call the Civil Rights Movement was not referred to by the people who were involved as the Civil Rights Movement. It was referred to as the Freedom Movement. And civil rights was one aspect of that struggle for freedom. And so even though we can argue that civil rights have been achieved, and they, and they haven't really, not for everyone. I mean, I can give you many examples of uh, uh, the uh, fact that, uh, this, that the civil rights agenda has not been uh, completely um, uh, achieved. Uh, however, the issues um, of um, the material issues, the issues of housing and health care and schools and social services, uh, um, racism very much structures uh, those, uh, those issues, those institutions. And uh, we have to learn how to talk about um, institutional racism and structural racism that can do its work without, the, without um, anyone ever indicating individual prejudice, or without there being a single law that bars certain services to black people or Latino people. That's the challenge of this year. And I would say that uh, the case of Trayvon Martin, which was publicized internationally, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you know about uh, that. Uh, and on the one hand, I think it's very important that, uh, that, that people all over the country have begun to mobilize around uh, that issue of uh, vigilante racist violence or police <coughs> violence, uh, because it's a you know, form of uh, police. Uh, uh, George Zimmerman is a wannabe policeman. Right? Um, however, the tendency has been to treat to treat that case and other cases like it as exceptional and to uh, focus only on the individuals, to focus on prosecuting George Zimmerman. And the fact is, George Zimmerman can be prosecuted. He can be sent to prison for the rest of his life, which is probably not going to happen. And the problem of vigilante violence, of uh, police violence, racist violence, 
will not have changed at all. And this again is um, an example of why the prison system just doesn't work. Uh, because uh, the assumption is that all you have to do is arrest George Zimmerman and that problem is going to be solved and then someone else is killed and someone else and some just during the period during which we mobilized around Trayvon Martin so many cases, similar cases uh, were uh, uh, erupted in Georgia, in Jackson, uh, Mississippi, in Oklahoma and so forth. And so I think that's an indication that especially in the U.S., we need to develop a strategy that is going to eradicate racism. And that strategy will require us to become involved in processes that will take a long, long time. It's not going to happen um, in a week or a month or a year or ten years or even a generation. It's going to take generations. And we in the U.S. have never committed to that long-term effort to purge the society of racism. And this is why it keeps re-emerging in so many different forms.